A demonstration problem on how to approach direct material variance analysis and direct labor variance analysis. We're going to do both of them in this problem. And the problem is this Magzinga Draperies Manufactures Curtains. A certain window requires the following. Direct material standard 10 square yards at $5 per yard. And the direct manufacturing labor, the standard is five hours at $10 per hour. During the second quarter, the company made 1,500, that's the output, curtains and used as input 14,000 square yards of fabric, costing 68,600. And used direct labor totaling 7,600 hours at 79,008. So compute the direct material price and efficiency or quantity variance and the direct labor rate and quantity variance to begin with. Let's start with the direct material variance and we set up the matrix actual quantity uh, on the left times the actual price actual quantity times the standard price in the middle and the standard input allowed for the actual output achieved times the standard price. So you can see the actual quantity was 14,000, but we don't have the price per uh, yard, so we have to figure that out. The total price was 68,000, and the quantity was 14,000, so the actual price is 490. So we already have this 68,6. The actual quantity, 14,000 times the standard price, that's straightforward. Now the standard input allow, they allowed you to 10 square yards for each curtain. So therefore, it would be 15,000 uh, square yards times $5 or 75,000. So the total variance is 68.6 minus 75,000, which gives me 6,400. Left is less than right, so it is favorable. If left is greater than right, it's unfavorable. Now that 64 favorable is a function of both price variance and quantity variance. And the price variance is the difference between 68.6 and 7,000, which is 1,450. So it explains 1,400 of that 64. The other is the quantity variance, and that will be the difference between this number here and the standard. And again, left is less than right, therefore it will be favorable. And that concludes how we do the analysis for direct material variance. We do the same approach now for the direct labor variance. We set it up again. Actual quantity times actual price. Actual standard input allowed for the actual output achieved times the actual rate times the standard rate times the standard rate. And again, we have 7,600 hours at $10.50 an hour for 79.8. The standard quantity, 76 times the standard rate, straightforward. But the actual input allowed, we had five hours of, to produce each one of those curtains, and we produced 1,500 curtains. And we have to multiply that by $10, we get 75,000. So the total variance is the actual times actual minus the standard times standard. And this time, the left is greater than the right, so therefore it's unfavorable. And we have 4,800 favorable. And it, so that is broken down then into a price variance, which is 79,800 minus the 76,000. And again, here we go, left is greater than right, so it's unfavorable. And a quantity variance, the difference between what I actually used and what I should have used and that, too, is unfavorable by 1,000. And there you have the direct labor variance analysis and material.